Hey, good morning, good morning, praise the Lord. Good morning, good morning, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Good morning, good morning, good morning, and good morning. Just waiting for my, oh, there we go. We on, we on. Hey, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Praise the Lord, man. I pray that you had a wonderful weekend, and I'm praying that you had a great time at service yesterday. Hence, if you wasn't in church, I'm encourage you to go on and get in church because you're needed. We need you, and you need us. So I'm encouraging you, I'm encouraging you, and I'm encouraging you. Today's morning medicine comes from Proverbs chapter 3, verse 9. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 9. And the Bible says, Honor the Lord with your possessions and with the first fruits of all your increase. Honor the Lord with all your possessions and with the first fruits of all your increase. Let me just... Uh, just a thought I was thinking about this morning about honoring God with all our possessions. You know, what does that really look like? And do we even think about that? You know, we think about honoring God with our lives, but, you know, even to take out a little bit or a little bit of piece of that and be a little bit more specific. What about your possessions? Is your possessions your life? Because sometimes people separate them and say, you know what? These are my possessions. Uh, this is my life. And you can be honoring God in essence with your life, but not so much your possessions. But then again, is that even honoring them with your life? And I think <laughs> to bring clarity to it, the Lord brought some thoughts in my mind. And I want to focus today on a Honoring of your things, your possessions, which ultimately is a part of honoring God with your life. But for the sake of this morning medicine, I want to separate these things so we can bring more clarity to some things. Because we can live a life, but yet when it comes to our possessions, God does not possess them. When it comes to our possessions, we more of look at that as just things we have accumulated. And because we've accumulated it, therefore God has nothing more to do with it. And I would say on the contrary, this scripture here lets us know that the Bible says, honor God with all your possessions. And this does not give a time frame of when I could, when I receive them, then you know they belong to me now. Or as time goes on, I get tired of them. Now, you know what? It's time to own something for the new. And I think and at times we think like that when it comes to possessions. And sometimes we even think of people as possessions. I guess that's that's a whole that's a whole different morning medicine. But I want to get in this today. How do you honor God with your possessions? How do you honor God with your possessions? Is that in our mind state every single day? Is that in our mentality of honoring God with all our possessions? And I'm telling you that it's hard. Because I think we're, we're not accustomed to it. We're accustomed to anytime it comes to a thing, it's our ownership. It's what I have, especially if you've worked overtime and you've been able to buy that thing, you start thinking that thing is yours. And we have that ownership mentality where we take ownership in these things and now we think we own them. And I think the first rule of how to honor God with your possessions is first recognizing that you own nothing. The first rule of honoring God with our possessions is recognizing that we own nothing. I don't care how hard we work for it. I don't care how much we thought or what we thought we did to obtain it. We own nothing. The Bible says that the earth is his footstool. The Bible also tells us in Genesis chapter one that God created everything and nothing is new under the sun. 
God is the creator. We really just reuse or reaccomplish with <laughs> things. We really don't create anything new because we take something that which was created and we improve it. And I'm just saying, the first rule of honoring God with your possessions is first recognizing we own, we do not own anything. Let me tell you why it's such a blessing with that. Because we don't have the responsibility of, what's the word? Let me do it, say it like this. When you own something, as, and rather than renting something, there's a different responsibility to it. When you rent something out, you're only maintaining what somebody else owns. And there's a difference because if a renter has issues, that's all they do is go seek the owner because the owner is, is their responsibility. And that's what I'm saying when it comes to God. We should be grateful that we don't own anything. The Bible gives a parable in the Gospels of the man who rented out the vineyard and the owner will one day return to see how they maintain or kept the vineyard. And that is us. God has given us this vineyard, but there will be one day when the owner will return to see how well we maintained or kept up with the vineyard. But the first first principle or first rule we have to understand is we don't own anything. We don't own anything. And it's really a blessing that we don't own anything because we're able to go to the owner because ultimately it's their responsibility and it takes the weight off of us. That's why God said his burden is light. His yoke is light. Why? Because he handles everything. So if I take on his burden, it's always light for me. But sometimes we get carried away and we get carried away with possessions. And that's where our stress comes from. Because we actually think we own it. So then we take responsibility for everything with it. And there goes our sanity. There goes our mind. There goes our strength. Because we're trying to keep something that we never, ever, ever, ever was supposed to have that responsibility to keep. I'm just saying the first thing about honoring your possessions, having the Lord honor the possessions, is recognizing that we don't own anything. And that's hard. Because some would even argue and say, no, I work for this. It wouldn't trust me, it wasn't by your strength. Nothing we can say that would have us to believe or, or justify that somehow we own it. No, we don't own it. Everything that we have, it was given to us. Oh, okay. No, you, 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 oh, you rose, raised your business up from nothing, from the ground up. Man, it was God even gave you the wisdom of how to even do that. Do you see what I'm saying? Because once we get the, once we get that reality, it puts things in its proper perspective and I don't own anything. So if I don't own anything, I'm always a connection to the one who owns it. Number two, how do, I, how do I do that? How do I do that? Verse recognizing we don't own anything. And if we don't own anything, then we have to understand of who it belongs to. First, recognizing we don't own, it, own anything. And number two, recognizing who it belongs to. 
God is the owner. God is the owner. Jesus is the master. He is the owner of the house. So it's one thing of recognizing we don't own it, but it is then giving the credit to who owns it. Why is that so important? Because we got to make sure we're giving the honor to whom the honor is due. We got to make sure that we're giving the honor in whom the honor is truly due. Because in that, he governs how I, how I manage what he has given. But yet if I don't honor him with it, then he can never guide me in it. So first recognizing I don't own it, then second recognizing who does own it. Because then when I recognize that, guess what? He's able to guide me. And I say all of that because I want us in that mind state of today to really think about our possessions. And these two things that I just mentioned here, that I don't own it and recognizing who owns it and giving them the honor with it, that's instrumental. Because sometimes we today, as God has blessed us with this job, we sometimes forget who blessed us with the job. Man, I don't own any, man, look, I'm not the reason for this job. So then if I'm not the reason for the job and God is the reason for the job, then everything that I encounter at the job, man, I don't even treat it like it's mine. God guide me in these possessions. What's the possessions? My job, my position. Hold up. The things that he equipped me with at the job. Everything that I have, God owns. So then I'm going to honor him with that possession. Whatever I have in my hand to possess. Whatever wisdom I have on my mind that I possess, I'm going to honor him with it. God, the Bible says, honor him with all your possessions, whatever you possess. Whatever you can get in your hand. And that includes on your mind and in your heart. Whatever you possess, does God own it? Your car, does God own it? Your desk, does God own it? Yesterday, I'm going to tell you, um, my wife, she said, man, you need to go clean the truck. And I'm like, man, I ain't trying to clean that truck. I'm not trying to clean that truck. Then the Lord hit me and said, are you going to clean my truck? Because you left it dirty. And it just changed my whole mentality because I'm like, when I thought I owned it, I sometimes don't give it my best with it. But yet, when God changed my perspective that he owns it, I'm like, Lord, man, I want to honor you with this. So then guess what I did? I got up yesterday in the evening and cleaned that truck. And I'm so grateful because when I cleaned it, I'm like, Lord, I'm honoring you with it. Do you see what I'm saying? Because I stripped myself of the ownership. Because sometimes when we ourselves own something, we sometimes don't give it what it deserves. And sometimes we give it too much because that thing, we start to worship that thing. And the honor does not go to God. The honor comes to that thing. We start worshiping the created thing instead of the creator. But I'm just saying for myself, and I start looking at different things like, man, God, you... you Everything I possess, you own. So then I start handling it in the care of honoring unto him. That goes with my desk at my job. Man, why are your desk so junky? What about, hey, hold up. What about your room? What about your house? What about your garage? What about your closet? What about the way that you handle your homework? What about your yard? Anything you possess I'm saying that relationship you possess. How is that? See, when you think you own it, you think you decide what to do with it. But yet, if you, get, if you relinquish the ownership and then recognizing who truly owns it, 
then he can guide you with it. See, that's what I'm saying. How can the Lord bless us with more? We don't even recognize it in the first place who owns it. Who owns the little. How can God honor, bless us with more? We don't honor him with the little. We don't even recognize that he owns that. We still trying to possess it. We still act like it's ours. No, it's his. And if it is his, then why does he not receive the honor? Do you seek him on the position you possess? Do you seek him on the way you handle that paperwork? Do you seek him on the way you handle the employees, the way you, I'm saying whatever you possess. Do you seek him in the clothes you possess? Should those be the clothes you even wear? Do you seek him on, man, whatever it is, do we honor God with all that we possess? Our TV and what comes on that TV, our music and what comes on. What about our car? Trust me, I'm, I, I'm, I'm telling you. I'm convicted right now that I can do better when it comes to maintaining what God owns. The car that he blessed me with outside. Or even keeping my desk more organized. But when I own it, I see that I'm likely to procrastinate about it. But yet, if I put it in perspective, he owns it. Then how could I keep doing him like that? He blessed me with the desk. He blessed me with the office. And now I don't have the decency or respect for him to honor him in organizing it and keeping it clean. And I want you to think about this in everything that we possess. You possess that position of husband. You possess that position of wife. You possess that position, whatever it is. But the question becomes, do you honor God with all your possessions? Do you honor God in the way you maintain some things, rather be uh, your shed outside, your back porch? I mean, your yard. I mean, you just name a plethora of things. What about your purse? What about that uh, that drawer or that cabinet? Does God get the honor in that? Or do you throw things in it and it's unorganized and that's a symbol of how your life is reflecting? Because you haven't learned to honor God with all your possessions. So how can you honor God with your life? I'm saying there's a correlation, there's a connection. And I'm just asking for this morning, are we honoring God with our possessions? First, we have to recognize we don't own anything and then we gotta make sure who's receiving the honor for it and who owns it. This is your morning medicine. I pray that today we learn to honor God in all our possessions. Not some, but all. God bless you all.